Hey everyone, Gina Brown here again with another addition to my Canvas videos. Um, so I'm continually messing around with Canvas um, and it fits in perfect with my Bitmoji Classroom um, obsession as well. So I have discovered that you can put a GIF as a page or as your home page in Canvas. Um, I am going to try to figure out if I can um, see how to get it to play automatically so you don't have to hit this play button. But let me show you how I did it. So what I did was I went to gifmaker.me, I believe. Let me see. Yep, gifmaker.me. And then what I did was I um, created a GIF on Slideshow. I made sure to use a Google Classroom template so it's longer and skinnier. Um, and then I basically just made each and every um, slide as like a flipbook slide. So let me see if I can find my... Pause this y'all and I'll try to find it and have it ready for you in a sec. Okay guys, so I found it. Um, so here is my slideshow that I created and each slide is a frame in um, my GIF. So this one is a huge slideshow. It's like 40 something, almost 50 slides. You don't need to do that many. You can do five, six, seven. So when you have your frames ready to go, you simply go here and you go to download and you download it as a JPEG. So I like to save them all in one folder so that way it's easy for me to upload it to giftmaker.me. Um, so I save it as the number one, two, three to coincide with my slides. Then I go here to giftmaker.me and I upload my images. So let me see if I can kind of find where I put these. So right here, slideshow, and then I think I have it in my GIF folder. Yep. So what I did was I saved each of these by the name, by the slideshow, slideshow by the slide number, so one through 46. Um, and then I put a separate folder with my completed GIF in it after I was done saving it. So all I did was I clicked this and then I scrolled down to the very end and actually hit shift. So click this one and then shift and then this one, nope, this one, control. And this one, nope, select all, there you go. <laughs> so I selected all of them and then I hit open. It takes a couple minutes and it uploads each one. Then once you're ready, you hit create GIF animation and then another um, kind of drop down will pop here to let you download it. You can change the time, I think I do 200 I like because um, it makes it a little bit slower. And then if you see up here, you can preview that speed. So if I made it 500, it makes it a lot slower. And if I made it 1,000, then it makes it a lot quicker. So let's say 200, we will do. Perfect. So create GIF animation, and then it creates it up top, and then it says, please wait a moment, and then it will have you download it. So I just downloaded it, and I saved it. Um, and then I use that to embed into my page. So let me hop back here so I can kind of show you how I saved that because only certain versions will work. So let me go back to my desktop so I don't get confused. Here we go, slideshow and then GIFs, wherever you are, there you go. So notice how this one, living room GIF all the way down, it has to be saved like this. So you can save the GIF, but I downloaded it as a video. So if you want to download the GIF, you can right here. But then I also created video animation. So that way I was able to upload it to my Canvas page. So it takes a moment and then you hit download video animation and that right here, download this video. And that is the version that I put into my Canvas. So let me show you that. So right here I have another video that shows you how to make these buttons so you can check that out. And I'm going to delete this so I can show you how I did that. So I'm going to hit enter so I can get below. And then since this is a video, I went to upload recorded media. So I'm not gonna record, I am going to drag or find my file. So it's all the way down here, finished classroom GIF. And notice how this one is kind of grayed out so you can't click it, so I clicked this one and then I hit submit. 
And then once this is kind of highlighted yellow, you have the opportunity to hit options. So you can make it extra large. It's still not as big as I would like it. So I'm going to hit done so you can see. So I'm going to actually go to custom. So custom, notice how it's 640 and 160. So 160 goes into 640 four times. So I need this one to be four times bigger. So if I do 1000 and then 250, um, it didn't let me do it. So sometimes you need to kind of 999 tab and then 250. So that one didn't work either. So let me try X out and let me go to it one last time. So custom, try to do a thousand. There we go. So you have to keep one of them um, typed in and then it will do the um, conversion for you. So I'm going to hit done and then there it is. And it looks wonderful. So I'm going to hit save. And then you can see that I have my buttons across the top. Um, that each of these click to take you somewhere. For instance, this one is going to take you to the Where I'm From um, poem. I have not live linked these yet, y'all. That's why it did not. Okay, so I paused quick and went back and made sure that those were live link. So if I click on each of these, it's going to bring me to each of those links. So like I said earlier, that one's going to be a quick how-to Canvas video. This one is going to link to a Google Doc of my syllabus. And then these two actually link back to Canvas assignments, which is pretty cool. So my Where I'm From poem, and then my quiz about me, the Miss Brown quiz from the Where I'm From poem is going to link right here. And then if you notice, you have the GIF, and if I hit play, I have that animated GIF, which is pretty cool. Um, and then it kind of stops when it's done and you have to hit that play button again. So like I said, I will try to figure out how to get it to continuously play um, like it does in Google Classroom. Um, I think that part of that reason, though, is because you can upload that GIF. For this one, you cannot. Um, so yeah, there you go. Hope um, you learned something. And as always, um, you fill my buckets each and every day.